What's up guys? How are you doing? Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. And today we are talking about Mark Taylor, okay? Hey, if you're first time on here, we talk about it. Everything politics, everything life, everything faith. And we disagree, we are allowed to disagree, but only with facts and truth. Okay. Let's go for this video. Mark Taylor, I've done a couple videos. He's written the book, Trump Prophecies. He prophesied that Trump will win the election the first time in 2016, and Trump won. Aha, he wrote the book and went around Christian television, you know, trying to, hey, I said it. It came to pass. Guess what? The elections that we just had in 2020, he again prophesied Trump will be reelected. Okay, that's what the Lord is saying, and that's what God said. So he appears on Faith and Veld Network. Okay, this video was done last week. Now that the prophecy, the Trump prophecy has failed, Mark is among other prophets who are trying to find an explanation to their audience, to the people who they told that, hey, the Lord has said Trump is going to win. Now that Biden is in the office, they are trying to find an answer because a lot of people are confused. But here in this video, it says like, it's no time to apologize. Stop those prophets who are going around apologizing. It's not for, for the failed Trump prophets. It's like, there's still hope. It's not over yet. You got to fight. In fact, that's what they're saying. Stand up and fight and stand on what God has said. So let's go to the video and then we'll talk about it. They're uh, depending on news organizations to tell them what's going on. And the fact of the matter is this is all by design. This is part of the plan. This is part of the war. Uh, there's a lot of information, disinformation. And, uh, but God's finding out who is for him and who is against him right now, brother. This right. is where the rubber meets the road. This is the hardest part of this war. See, so what everybody wants to find out is, is when's the arrest going to be made? When's the arrest going to be made? Some of them already been made, guys. We just haven't heard it. You know, deep. You hear the conspiracy theory that many prophets were saying like there will be a massive and massive arrest. Okay? In fact, somewhere is even saying... Okay, there'll be arrest before January 20th. In fact, Chris Yon, Yon, who have made several videos, he said Biden will be arrested on January 19th, which didn't happen and was a false uh, prophecy. Uh, but Mark is saying that, hey, there are actually arrests which has taken place and you don't know about it. And people are waiting for this. All this is not true. See, to me, is one big gitmo right now. That's why it's fenced off. Uh, so, I mean, we may not hear these things. We may not see these things in the natural. But see, the problem is, Paul, is this is the toughest part of the war. So when we see with our natural eyes the judgment on yeah. the evil, right. the fight's over. Right. That's not part of the fight. But that's the part of the fight everyone wants to get to. But we've we got to cross this path. If you, we got to go down this path, if you will, that God's placed before us before we get to that point. But the problem is the patience is wearing thin. People are getting battle-weary. Look, I get it. You know what I mean? People get battle-weary at times. If you, get you keep telling people to hold on, to have patience, to have faith, to stand up and fight for their failed Trump prophecy. It's going to happen. Maybe this, maybe January, maybe, maybe Christmas, a Christmas miracle. Maybe January 3rd. Maybe January 6th. Maybe January 20th. Oh, it's March. Oh, it's this year. Oh, it's within four years. It's confusing and people are tired. Okay. I'm going to read you something before we watch. All right. It says, um, uh, Mark, Mark chapter 13, verse 22. For false messiahs and false prophets 
will appear and perform signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect, the righteous, the genuine people. Okay, so we have to be really careful here. Okay, we are dragging people into this prophetic word that obviously God did not speak, you know, because Ezekiel says, 22 verse 28, how prophets whitewash these deeds for them by false visions and lying divinations. They say, this is what the sovereign Lord say when the Lord has not spoken. Guys, it's dangerous to speak when the, when God hasn't spoken. It's dangerous to say the Lord told me this when he didn't. How do you know the Lord told you? Many of the false prophecies we are calling out, they are fell. Some people think, oh, it's a 50-50. That's what I'm, I'm tapping in the spirit. I have a vision from the Lord. It's 50-50. Trump is going to win or may win. That's, that's, that's gambling. That's not the prophecy. If God spoke it, it has to come to pass 100%, okay? Not 99.9. .9. So let's listen some more. Without a worry, take a break. Take a step back, take a break. Get before the Lord. Let him speak to you personally right now. But if there's a lot of prophetic words, corporate prophetic words coming out from certain individuals are all over the planet right now, and they're coming out like this. And it's like, oh, now he's attacking people of prophesying. He himself is prophesying. He himself has been prophesying. Now he's saying, you listen to the Lord yourself. When he has been going around, giving prophecies that this is what the Lord said. You know what? God's not saying a whole lot, brother. All right. And that's another red flag to me with some of these people. And it's like, God's not speaking a whole lot right now. This is why Trump's not speaking and saying anything. All right. It's all by design. Trump is not speaking anything. God is not speaking anything. It's a dangerous and scary moment. Don't go around prophesying. That's what he's saying. But he's telling you what the Lord. He's, he's, he, he appears here on Truth and Veil with Paul Obel. And they're talking about prophetic events. They are talking about understanding the events. And what God is saying. But Mark Taylor is telling you now. You listen to God yourself. And those prophets saying stuff around. God is, not, is silent. Trump. Is silent, and you know we're we, we're we're brought up that way, and this is this is what I mean. I said, uh, you know, uh, thanks to our buddy Chris McDowell, invited me on the show uh, last week, and we had a great time. Uh, and one of the things I, I I explained this way about what's going on right now, we go to we go to high school, and we hear the teacher lecture us, and lecture us, and lecture us about that particular subject that we're in. When it comes sometimes for a test. Guess who's quiet? You know, it's reversed. You know, during during uh, the day or during the year, we hear the teacher talking and the students quiet because we're supposed to be learning and listening. But during the test, it's just the opposite. It's the teacher that becomes silent and the, and, and the and, well, actually the whole class becomes silent, but it's the teacher that goes silent. And the only thing she will say is, do your test, finish your test, right. shut up and finish the test. Right. And that's what and that's what's happening now. God spoke to us. He gave us word. And we were to listen. We're not supposed to throw everything that the teach. Did you hear that? God spoke to us. He gave us the word. So is bringing this uh, explanation or this idea that we're going to stand on it. It's only guys. God did not speak because the prophecy has absolutely fell and they failed and they're telling you and me to stand and fight that this is a time of test trump somehow is gonna come back and become a president this year or within these four years because god said it sure said away if we throw it away we're gonna miss the test we're gonna fail the test we're not gonna know the answers Right. But God right now is being silent, and we're going through that sit at your desk and be still and soak in the Word of God. That's where we're at right now, and God is truly finding out who's going to pass this test, who's going to get the A, and who's going to get the F. And that's where God's at right now. We have to search, and we have to strive for that A to get through this. 
And I, I told somebody a couple of days ago that I was talking to, they're like, I'm so tired. I don't want to fight anymore. And I said the same thing you said, you know, go get in your prayer closet and rest for a while. But do not stop. Do not give up. During the test, our brain works the hardest, trying to recall everything that the teacher taught us. And that's what we're going through spiritually right now. Right. We have to recall everything that God has spoken to us and write that down and not change the answer. Not right. change it at all. Don't change the questions. The answer is wrong. The question is wrong. God did not speak. And you are telling people to keep on and fighting and all these things. It's not right. Because it's there for a reason and on purpose. And that's where I see us spiritually. God's being quiet now. We got to go through this test. That's right. And look, you know, this is where our training comes in. Absolutely. It's no different than special forces. No different than the fire department. You know, we train for certain situations. We train and we train and we train. Blood, sweat, and tears, literally. You know, uh, and, and it's, it's when the rubber meets the road is when the training kicks in. And that what you're also finding out are those who were properly trained and those who were improperly trained. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we're finding out a lot of things on a lot of different levels right now. Yes, we are. We are. And, and so it ought to be obvious to a lot of people, to, to the mature warfighter out there, it ought to be very obvious what we're seeing out here, what, what's being exposed in each individual, every man, woman, and child, uh, especially the leadership. You know, I had a conversation with Mike Smith today, our good buddy Mike Smith. Oh, yeah. And we were, we were, he said, you know, he says, people ought to be scared when Trump is silent. I said, brother, people ought to be scared when God is silent. Yeah. And I said, Do you think the enemy right now is not quaking? Not, not just from just Trump being silent. They're quaking because God is silent right now because they know their time is up. They know all the evil on this planet. Their time is up. It's short. Okay, guys, enough of that. All the evil on this planet. Time is up. God is going to show up. All the evil will be wiped off. You know, there won't be this and that. Trump will come and win again. In this video, guys. Mark Taylor goes on and uh, criticizes uh, Franklin Graham, who has recognized uh, uh, Biden as president. He criticizes him. He's like, no, he's not uh, the true president. God did not choose him, and he's really mad at that, okay? But, guys, he wants you and me to continue standing in the faith of his prophecy, not God's prophecy. In the faith, not in the Bible, in what he's saying. Although God now is silent. Trump is silent. In fact, he said one time, it's like God is silent because Trump is silent. Okay, and that's a dangerous time because a lot of people will be celebrating. And then God will come and take away all this evil. All right, guys. So tell me what you think. But... Mark Taylor, the way he's trying to portray or trying to make you believe is that his prophecy was a true prophecy about Trump and that actually Trump won and actually the election was stolen from him. And now he's trying to find an explanation to the audience about his failed prophecy. My take is that God did not speak and the prophecy fell. It was a false prophecy. And if God doesn't speak, we need to be silent. We shouldn't say what God didn't say. And we claim it, thus says the Lord. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Make sure you watch other videos. And of course, leave a comment and subscribe. Bye.